Hi folks, this is a component tester that I picked up off eBay for about $15. I got it a few years ago without a case and unfortunately it started to break apart. And so this time I ended up buying it together with a case. That's why it's $15. Otherwise you can buy them for about six, $7. They're mega, 80 mega based component testers. And I'll go over this in a moment uh, once I rip it open. But that's the actual board with the display. And this is the case, which appears to be acrylic that's been cut. And it comes with screws and a whole bunch of other things. And you piece this together and there you have it. So next section of the video, I'm gonna open this up, show you it, and I'll start putting this together. Okay, so here's the board. Okay, it's taped down. There's the back there. I don't know if you can see anything there on the chip. I'll zoom in. And can you see anything at all? Probably some, oh, Atmel Mega 32 8P. Okay. And I have to just remove that tape, but it takes a nine volt. Here's the case, at least the components of the case. Turns out that it came in broken. You can see it was cracked in delivery and it was padded in a few layers of this. So I don't know how in the world this broke, but it is broken and I'm going to send an email off to the seller and we're gonna have to resolve this. But uh, the whole point of this second kit, I said, as I mentioned in my video earlier, was that I wanted a case so that I could protect this thing. And so that's why I paid the extra money for a case not to get a broken case, you know? And yeah, sure, it might be possible to epoxy this thing together, but you know, that's not what I paid for. So we'll have to see how to resolve that. But in any case, that is it for now. I'll uh, update this video and show you how this thing works once it's all put together. Okay, so I've put it together. This is what the case looks like. Um, just wanna show you the damage. So this part here, I have to glue. It's not necessary. It doesn't really do anything. You're supposed to line up the notch here so that this part can go up and down like this, All right? The uh, board itself is screwed into the back on these standoffs. I'm not too excited about these things sticking out the bottom, especially if they're gonna get, um, they're gonna scratch up your surface, whatever you put this on. So just keep that in mind. You might have to put something on there. Anyway, the other damage is, of course, uh, this crack emanating from here across, right? That's one of them. There's the back of it here, which as you can see, here, let me just flip this over. You can see this whole corner here was the one that snapped. Now, I tried to glue it with some crazy glue. It's not holding at all. Um, basically this screw is holding this piece in. There's some kind of a cutout here. I don't know what that's for. I guess it's to mount the battery, but it doesn't, the case didn't come with anything to actually help mount the battery. It's just loose in there at the bottom. So I just used an elastic and sort of threaded it through these holes. As you can see, there's these three holes. I passed it through a few times and just elastic it in. So that's for now holding it. Um, when you turn it on, you can see M tester, it turns on. I don't have anything in here yet. So I've got a few components here. We're gonna try out, okay? First, this large cap. Let's, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there are numbers here. One, two, three, one, one, one. So you're supposed to put, you know, the ones are all connected. So you have to somehow get this in here, you open it up. This will turn off, by the way, okay? And as long as you can get it across here somehow, so it's from one to two, as you can see there. Okay, let's close this up. Okay, that's connected across one and two. Okay, turn it on. It should tell us what it is. Okay, so one to two, it's a capacitor. It's got nine, 90 microfarad. It's giving us our ESR. So what is this? 100 microfarads, okay? 
it says 90. So, I mean, obviously this is either it's an old capacitor or it's off. Let's uh, try again. Just let that go off. By the way, there's also a pad down there, as you can see, with this cutout, with the same pinouts. But you can't really, I can't get this in here, right? So it's kind of stupid uh, that it's below it recess that far, but in any case here, let's do this again. Could be the contacts also may affect capacitance, or it could just be a bad capacitor, which is the whole point of the M tester, 91. So it's a little, still a little bit off what it should be. Let's try another cap. Here's another one. Uh, looks like it's pretty good. A new one, that's also 100 microfarad. We'll do the same. Plug it in here, one to the two mark here, or one, that's one to three, it's okay. Same idea, you can see. We'll let this turn off. I believe you can press the button again and it'll reset it. So you don't have to wait. We can try that out again. There, that's closer. 94 and it shows one to three still a little bit on the low side so i'm not sure if that's something that's a, a fault with this thing I'll press this again yeah so if you press it again it resets okay this is a not really sure what it is 100 volts it says 473j all right well let's try it out again uh, one to three there that's in there and it's telling us it's a cap 4805 okay nano fairy can't see that there it says 473j so is it a 47.3 nano fairy I'm not sure Okay, next we have this thing, 10. Okay, it looks like another cap. Put it in here. There, that's one to three again. So I'm trying to do this with one hand here while I'm holding the phone. Is that? Yeah, it is, okay. Unknown parts, okay. I don't think I have it right in right. Let's try again. Here, we'll put a two to one here. A two to one. Try again. Hmm. Interesting. Why does this not work? Nope, I can't get this thing to work for some strange reason. Here, let's do one to three this way. Nope. All right, if anyone can tell me what this is, because I'm at a loss. Uh oh, it fell inside the hole. What? Nope, did it come out? Yeah, I can't tell what, what's going on with that one. Okay, let's try some resistors. Okay, there's the color scheme, you can see um what do we have there let's zoom in okay brown black green i think and then there's a gold for the tolerance all right let's try this out again bend it around Try that. So that's going across again two to one. Should tell us the resistance. There. It's a one kilo ohm resistor. Okay. And another one. Red. I believe that's just red, 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 and gold again. Let's see. We'll put that in from the two. To the one here and clamp that in. There. 
Little 2K ohm resistor, give or take. And finally, we have a diode here. It should tell us also the direction. So we'll go from two to, to the one here. Hopefully it's, I don't know if that's going to work because I see one, 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 two, three, four, five. Oh, there's seven. Okay, so it should be okay. Should be okay. Diode. Directionality from one to two. Remember, it's going this way. Showing that. And there we have it. What is that, the drop in millivoltage forward? Um, capacitance, I'm assuming. Okay, I'm not up with my diode parameters, but there you have it. Let's go back to this thing. It'll be around 90 something again. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. Okay. So that's uh, how to use it on a few things. I'm gonna glue this up. I'd like to reinforce some of these a little bit if I can. The case is, you know, a kind of rudimentary, unfortunately, not the greatest looking case, to be honest. But, you know, and it's a little bit finicky putting it together. There's, there were no instructions in the kit either, but it's not hard to figure out once you uh, look at the photos online. You can kind of see where everything goes. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll let you know in the, in the description of this video eventually whether I ended up getting a refund or not for this thing because of the broken case. Uh, but it's a, not an inexpensive, I mean, it's a very inexpensive tool to add to your electronics kit and uh, worthwhile to have, you know, just in case you're doing some repair jobs and you just want to find out, you know, if your capacitors are doing their job or you have some component that you're not really sure of and you want to figure out what it is. Um, but pretty good, nice do-it-yourself kits here. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.